Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading from the series maybe for you. Just keep in mind the energy could be vice versa and this reading is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you. We will keep shuffling till we get a jumping card. That jumping card will present the relationship situation then from there we're going to start the reading. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Let's start. Oops, this is too way too many. One jumping card to pre to present the relationship situation. We have two cards, the Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. As I see this here as the first impression about this, maybe someone give you an offer of love or an offer in something, maybe in work, maybe in love. Maybe you were waiting for a love offer and a work offer came to you. The energy that came to me, that something came to you as an offer, but that was not what you were looking for. Let's see. Three cards for your person, three cards for you, and outcome. This is your person. This is you. One. Okay. If we need any clarification, we're going to clarify. For your person, we have the Six of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups. And for you, we have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Six of Wands. For a, from what I'm seeing here, I believe you got an offer, and that offer was not what you want from this person. This person was planning to leave. They were so confused about what they want in life. And I believe this is the feeling that came to you. They were so confused about what they want. Do they want you? Or they want to stay single for now, focus on work? Or they want only to have fun? Or they want to look for someone else, maybe a better match than you with them? So this person was not really knowing what they are doing. And they were about to leave the situation completely. And this is the feeling that you got from them. And in the middle of all this confusion, this person came to you with this page of cups. The offer came to you as if someone like lost focus for a few seconds and did something. And this is exactly what this person did. Between this confusion and like without any clarity, suddenly this person just offered you this cup of love. Even after they did that, they were themselves surprised from what they did. And I believe you felt that. You felt that this person doesn't really mean that offer. On top, that offer was way so little than you expected or than you 
will accept. This is something you will not think about because it's a very small offer and you believe that you deserve better than that. This is a point. Add to it the confusion that you felt from this person and about what they're, they were not really knowing what they were doing. They just drop the, the offer and without thinking. Maybe you were in a party or in a bar or they have too many drinks, something, something like that. This person said something they didn't mean. They didn't really mean. And it was way too small than what you will accept from anyone. So at that point, you became that King of Swords. Though you were holding back before, based on what you felt from this person, then when you saw the offer that came to you, you transformed completely to this King of Swords, very cold, very sharp, not even interested in seeing this person, not only talking to them. I believe you pulled yourself from this. Or if you didn't pull yourself, you showed the cold shoulder to this person. If this situation didn't happen yet, maybe it will happen in the future. Very recent future. Like a couple of days or a week maximum from the time you see this reading as you know these are timeless readings i believe the shock that you got from this person made you thinking seriously about dropping the situation in total because it's not about, it's not only about what did they offered you and how they are dealing. The personality of this person is very confusing. This person doesn't really know what they want. And I think the main point that you are thinking about is this is this is the type of personality you will you want to spend your life with is this confused person will be a good partner for you i think this is the main thing that you are thinking about right now not the offer not if they are will leave or stay this is not your concern anymore i think the main thing that you are thinking about is this person personality. I want to take one card on this page of cups. Let's see. We have three. Page of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Is there another energy in this person? See, this person is watching more than one person. They are in a relationship with you, but they are still exploring options. They are not exploring options by flirting and talking to people. No, they are analyzing different options, trying to pick the best choice that they have in front of them. And this will take us to a conclusion, very true, that this person is not in love with you. This person is trying to pick the best option they can find. And this is not love. 
So even if this person will pick you today because you are the best option around, maybe tomorrow they will get a different option. They will consider it better at that time. What will happen? Because this is not love. This is, it's like someone having more than job opportunity. And they are studying these job offers and picking the best. This is not a relationship unless we are talking about work here. I don't think this is about work. This is not a cheater. Like they don't have different people aside. No. But they're still watching different people. Not talking to someone else doesn't mean that this is not cheating. You're watching different people and trying to pick the best option. So you are not really in love with this person that you are with. You are just keeping them with you aside till you decide maybe there is something better so you will drop the, this situation and go to somewhere else. Is this what you are looking for? Is this the type of relationship or type of person that you want? And I believe this person will always find whatever is not in their hands is a better option for them. Because this is, this is like, I don't know if this is the right way to say it. They have a shaky personality. This person indecisive all the time. They don't know what they want. They're always looking for something. Maybe there is something better. Even in jobs, if you will always keep looking for something better and every few couple of months you will drop the place that you are working and go somewhere else, on the long term, you will lose. So imagine this is about love. I want to take one uh, clarification. See, I didn't say it yet. On this King of Swords. Let's see what this King of Swords is about. I think you will drop the situation. As I see here, I believe this is not a long relationship. It's kind of a something starting between you and someone. And in the beginning, it seems that things were going good, fine, like, okay. Then after a while, you start to see this. Like when you get closer, when you got closer to this person, you start to see their personality. doesn't matter about any personalities or anything. The main story in here, this person doesn't love you. There is no love in here. And I believe that you were, you liked them and you were starting to develop feelings for them. And when you start to get closer to this person, you saw the reality. So you pulled back. But you will be victorious in something. 
Let's see what's that something. What's the six wands about? I believe you will be victorious somewhere else in some other situation. Not this. Because as I see it on the table, you are giving your back to this situation. Strength. These two cards is for Leo. It seems that you will gather your strength and you will look for somewhere else, for someone else and keep going in your life. And I would think you will be victorious in that. You will get something better. Maybe you will focus on your work and you will be very successful dropping the loving or relationships all together. Let's see the outcome. The Six of Cups. Hmm. Is this is the same old story about someone who will feel the love towards you when you leave them? It seemed it seems like that this person will feel the love towards you after you leave. Is this six of cups between you and this person? The moon and the three of cups. I don't feel this is with this person. I feel a different energy here. Energy still in the dark. Someone you don't know yet. This is not this person. Maybe there is someone watching you. Sorry, my friend, something went wrong with the recording. Back to our story. I think this person, someone watching you, or maybe an ex. And it doesn't have to be an ex because with this Six of Cups energy, maybe this is a soulmate of yours. Someone waiting to see what will happen in here. Then after that, they will come to you. Based on. Because I, I think that this person is watching. And they don't want to interfere. Because you are with someone else. They're just. Like keeping a tap on you. That's it. And I think this person, when they will see you left, they will come out of the dark. And you will be with this person. Well, thank you so much for being with me, my friends. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading in a way. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.